Good morning on this very chilly morning here in Northeast Iowa. I went out earlier, a bit earlier today, and the air temperature is about 25 degrees. The wind is 20, 25 miles an hour, and it is just, it is not pleasant to be out. I shot some pictures of trumpeter swans, and I thought, well, I could hang it up, or I could uh, do what I've been thinking about doing for quite some time, and that is do a real-world test of the DJI wireless mic system. I've been using that uh, for a, a number of months now. I like it, but uh, I'll take it out now and, and do an intentional test when we've got some strong wind, and I'll connect it to my GoPro so you can um, listen to what it is and judge for yourself. So I'll switch this camera over and... Um, We'll take a look at the mic system. And by the way, right now I am not recording using the DJI mic. I'm just using my cell phone with the cell phone mic. So um, let's switch this over or, or switch the camera around so you can at least see the equipment before we go out and test it. Folks, pardon my impromptu um, setting here for showing you my equipment, but this is it. This is my DJA mic system. Behind it, you're going to see the GoPro that we'll talk about here shortly before we go out and test this. But this is the cables that come with it. It comes in a drawstring case. You've got your windscreens right here. I think they work pretty good, but we'll test them today. And then it all comes in this handy case. This case is kind of a conditional thing because... It, um, if you're out shooting all day and your batteries start to go dead, you can put them back in this case, and that case has got bad, uh, it's a, a power pack. It'll charge the batteries up so you can go for, you can go for, uh, many hours using this system. When we go out today, we're going to use just the receiver and just one mic, and I'll switch it to mono. Um, but that's, that's the system, and so far, I've been pretty pleased with it. Now, to use it with the GoPro, you have to have this adapter piece. So the the mic itself, the output of the receiver fits into this, and it's, it all goes into the bottom of this GoPro case, and you plug it in. I'll show you that briefly, uh, shortly here, how that works. But by doing that, that's the only way that um, you can make that external mic work on the GoPro. Um, the GoPro internal mics that it comes with, I don't think are that good. But with that external mic, I think the audio has really improved. So I'm going to pause this now, and then I will show you how that GoPro case goes together, or that GoPro adapter. You can now see that I have the mic adapter for the GoPro connected to the GoPro on the side. You have to remove the cover, the waterproof cover. So once you're using this, it's no longer waterproof. Um, the case that holds it, it's a Ulanzi case that I believe I picked up off of Amazon. But folks, it works. It's just a really simple system. Uh, but it's a quality system that the it, mic adapter itself is a true GoPro mic adapter. I have found nothing else that will work. So I did pay the extra dollars to get that GoPro mic adapter. It's worked. It's worked flawlessly. And uh, so far, I've been really happy with the output. So now that you've seen this, I'm going to put it all together. And and then I'll give you a little bit of demonstration on that. And, and then we'll go out and take a walk. Uh, I now have the DJI mic adapter cord connected to the GoPro. I have the receiver, the wireless receiver on top of the uh, GoPro, and then I've got the wireless mic. And you see, can see that that wireless mic is picking up my audio. On the receiver, it's all touch screen. It's very easy to set your various parameters, whatever you, uh, however you want it set up. It's easy. It's um, Like I said, it's so far for me, it's been foolproof. I've had no problems whatsoever with it. And when I'm running, uh, when I'm running this in my canoe, then I'll put an extra the second mic. I'll put that somewhere so it can pick up the the sound of the the canoe paddle in the water. But for now, today, what we're going to do is just go out and test the windscreen capability, so you can see what it's what it's all about. And just to show you how small this microphone is, it's very small. It's got either a clip or a, ma a magnet that you can put it on your shirt. I've used it a number of times just standalone. I can just hit a button and it'll record on its own. Uh, like I said, so far I have really liked this system. They don't give them away, but uh, quality often costs a little bit more. So let's let me uh, 
pause this now, put everything together, get bundled up, go outside, and we'll take a walk out in the wind. And you can listen to the audio quality out of this um, DJI mic system with that windscreen in strong winds. We're going to go out now, test this system out. Um, you can see that I have the microphone on my sternum strap for my backpack. And the receiver, of course, is on top of the on top of the GoPro in that Ulanzi mount. One thing that I do often do is um, I switch that receiver around so that when I have this GoPro facing forward so you can see where I'm walking, then I can actually watch audio levels. Um, so I'm going to do this, do a quick turn around here, and you can see what we're looking at. Off in the distance there are two trumpeter swans taking flight. You may hear them. Coming right at us. That couldn't have worked out better if I tried. Unfortunately, I was redoing this audio test. I would have liked to have just shot with my with my still camera with a long lens. Wind is blowing. You can see see it on the water. You can see the cattails moving. So the wind is blowing. And I really don't know what to expect here. I have an idea. I don't think we're going to hear much wind noise. And a little when it's this windy, I guess, is understandable. But we'll see. Getting out in the wind more. Oh, look at all those white spots out there. I bet those are all swans, too. Probably going to have to pause this recording so I can take some still photos. I got to get closer first. Okay, I'm turned a little bit so that that wind is hitting this mic pretty much straight on. Again, this is less a test on the uh, video. Or it's less a concern for video quality as it is for audio. So you can see just what this mic does and the windscreen, specifically that windscreen. May or may not hear trumpeter swans honking further out. We got a lot of wind. Two swans just flew back. Okay, quite a few different noises you should be hearing. Hopefully the wind is not drowning it out and you're hearing the Canada geese pretty dominant. Maybe some red-winged blackbirds, occasionally sandhill cranes. The mallards that took flight and then the trumpeter swans. And my footsteps, probably me breathing too. I heard a sandhill crane somewhere out there. That's a nice group of swans out there.
Sand Hill Crane is calling more. I'll stop walking. Now this is not a shotgun mic, it's just a like a lav mic, a wireless lav mic. So you can't expect that it's gonna pick that audio up real well from further out. But I believe it'll do all right. Those aren't swans, I think those are pelicans. Uh, there are some swans out there, but those are pelicans. All right, I'm going to pause this test for a minute so I can shoot some photos. This ought to be a pretty good test of wind and Canada goose honking. Canada geese honking. So we've got Canada geese. We've got pelicans, we've got trumpeter swans, bald eagles, sandhill cranes, and quite a few species of waterfowl. I think we've done enough here to test this DJI mic system. We've had a pretty strong winds with some gust. We've got uh, 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 ample amount of wildlife, wild uh, bird calls between trumpeter swans and Canada geese, and sandhill cranes some killdeer and red-winged blackbird at various distances and various audio levels along with my breathing and just my voice so i um, hoping that this gives you a, a good real-life demonstration of the capabilities of the DJI mic system um, I, I hope it's been helpful if you enjoy these kind of videos I would ask that you subscribe uh, and I do thank you for watching